Good morning. Um, this Wednesday is halfway through the week and we're dealing with life one day at a time. I just wanted to pop in and tell someone that someone is going through the same thing that you're going through. Someone has went through what you're going through already. There's nothing new under the sun and there's nothing that God cannot tackle. Um, life can feel like a burden. Um, Things can start to oppress you and compress you in so much that you just can't do anything but cry on the inside. You can't make words to say what's been happening to you. Um, you don't know how to deal with it. But you're being heard. You just, you just got to stand firm in the belief that the Lord is hearing you. The Lord will address you. The Lord will save you. You just have to watch your steps. You can stumble, but you need to get back up. Exodus 3 and 7, um, where Moses and the Egyptians were being held in captivity. Um, it says, And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. Affliction, affliction is deep pain, deep ache, deep sorrow, um, burdens, a heavy load. I think that theirs was a, a little worse than ours because they were in captivity by a nation of people. Um, I, I would say... I, I don't even know if I'll compare it to our slavery, but they were going through it on a daily. They were aching for their children, for themselves, and God heard them, and he let them know that he feels their pain. He says he's heard their cry, and he hears yours. Um, it says by reason of the taskmasters. Taskmasters in the Hebrew language oh, could be the oppressor, uh, the boss, someone who's inflicting, say, uh, extreme pain, sorrow, burdens. Um, I would say our taskmaster here is society, is the world. Because God tells us to not be of the world, but to, to walk in it. We have to learn to walk in the world and not conform to it. Um, God says he knows their sorrows he knows our sorrows to know their sorrows he's telling them i am in pain with you i am going through this with you you're aching i am aching but what does he do and in in verse 8 he tells them that he comes to deliver them and that he comes to take them onto a good land and he'll be doing the same for you um <clears throat> delivering someone is to remove them from the present situation so I just, and, and, and he says he's going to give them something good. He says this about all of his people. He is prepared to give you a good and new life. All you have to do is decide that I want him to lead me. I want to follow him. I want to align my decisions with his. I am going to remember that no matter what I'm going through, that he will give me the strength to see me through it, that he will create a way for me to benefit from it, and that he is listening to me. He's listening to you. He's watching you, and he will come to save you. He will come to deliver you. Just keep pushing. Don't let it weigh you down. There's nothing new under the sun, and the Lord has delivered us several times over and over as a nation. And he hears us now. There aren't very many of us, which is, that's so sad to say. There aren't very many of us that walk and believe and worship Yahweh. There aren't, and I'm not excluding others or anything like that, but there aren't many of us that honor our God, that are trying, and it's very hard to try in this society there's so much right in front of us that we can that we can do and touch. It, it, this world is creating an appeal to do the wrong thing. I'm telling you, Satan is already 
in command, I mean, the music industry, movies, television, radio, our children's schools, the government, they have been watered down to the point where they will accept anything and they are encouraging everything that goes against the word of God. We need to be very careful. We should not follow the path that everyone else is. We should take the path that's narrow and let's follow. That's what we have to continue to do. Because our Father hears everything that we're going through. Everything. So if He knows everything you're going through and He's hearing your cry and He's there with you, He says He knows your sorrow. Remember, He doesn't want to sit in that forever. Show Him you don't either and He'll get you right out, honey. I think I hope that you all have a blessed day. Um, and remember that you're not the first one and you won't be the last, but you can be one of the few who follows the word of God and he'll lead you out. Have a blessed day and thank you for joining me at Journey of the Word Ministries, home of every name known to God, where all are welcome regardless of their belief. And we nurture a relationship with God, not a specific religion. Because there's too much man in the word at this point in religion. And we need to remove that and just look at what he's given us. And we'll be A-OK. -okay. Have a blessed day. This is Miss Keish. And I'll speak to you another time this week. Thank you.